Hey, how's it going? Happy Mother's Day. Thought I'd do a real quick pour today. Um, something I've never done yet. This will be a first. So I have this glass vase. And I have seen Miss Marcy do this several times. And um, I just thought I'd try it. I had some leftover paints from my last pour. And I added a little bit to them. I'm going to put some white on the bottom here first. About out of white. I need to mix more, but that'll work. I can tell that my canvas is <laughs> not even. Don't know. There's already a hair in it. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's just do this. Here we go. I'm just going to slowly pour it. Um, I've got the vase inside a cup. Just to lift the vase off the canvas. And then I have a canvas down below to catch everything that uh, flows off the vase. So hopefully we can do a twofer. We can also get a painting out of this. Kind of fun so far. I mean, how here comes some blues. A lot of magenta. Should be interesting. a lot of paint but I'm not getting much coverage back here on this other side because my canvas is not level <laughs> so I will just keep pouring this out kind of looks like a rainbow here kind of cool hope it turns out fun can't get the paint to drip more evenly. It's really cool that I'm not getting full coverage. I'm not sure why. Marcy, how do you do this? <laughs> Mixed media girl is the queen. I don't know. Not sure that more paint is the answer, but I don't have full coverage on the vase. So let's try a little bit more paint and see if I get any better coverage. Because it's looking really pretty. I don't want to just scrap the whole idea here. I've even got too much paint on the canvas, so maybe it's the shape of this face. I don't know. Does anybody know the trick? Please let me know. <laughs> oh goodness, that bottle. 
one was stuck. Lumpy. I feel like if I raise this a little bit, make it more level. more paint to flow over. Well, it's working, but I'm not sure I like the color combo now. <laughs> Green left. Okay, well that's looking pretty cool on this side. And it has almost covered the entire base, so that's a good thing. Okay. There are a few stripes that have not covered yet, but I'm thinking maybe as it drips, it might fill in. If not, maybe it'll look cool just to have open spaces. I don't know, but I'm going to grab the cup. Try to move this to dry. And then we'll move this canvas. Let's see what we get with the canvas. Got some cool patterns there. I'm just gonna kinda Drip some of this excess paint off. And try to keep some of this fun pattern that's on here.
think it's time to clean my table. <laughs> Definitely interesting. A lot of different colors in there. Get my corners. All right. There we go. That was a twofer. Fun vase. And then a bonus canvas. my fingers and I'll bring you in for a close-up. Hang on just a sec. All right, we're back. It's kind of another little psychedelic flower almost. You can see rings in there. It's kind of cool. Kind of fun. Lots of different colors though. Diff different, very different. But I do like the way the rings are are in there, and that that's right there is really cool. The purple and the yellow and the green, the teal. Pretty cool. Okay, let me pause and I'll show you this vase. Okay, so the vase not quite so exciting. Maybe I'll try a few more colors on top of it because that teal that I put on last just kind of overtook the whole thing. And as you see there, you can see the red cup through some of the stripes. A little bit underwhelming, but hey, it was my first time. What are you, you going to do, right? <laughs> this side's a little bit more fun. I'll try to doctor it up and then I will show the dried vase in another video soon. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Happy Mother's Day. And we'll see you soon. Till next time, guys.